Hello, Beekman Elementary School. Happy Friday, April 3rd. You did it. You made it through the week. We got the weekend coming up. So I hope we have some nice weather. You can get outside um, and enjoy the weekend. Um, as you can see, I'm in my principal outfit today. Got the, the uniform on. Um, and the reason for that is we're having, uh, I'm having a meeting with uh, your teachers today. It's our first online meeting um, since school's been closed. And the reason we're having the meeting is because, um, as you know, um, we're getting started for online classes starting on Monday. So, you know, we're going to get prepared and I want to make sure that I'm uh, doing my part, bringing my A game, and I've uh, been working hard to help the teachers out. And I know they've been working really hard too. So that's why I look like a principal today. Um, and this reminds me, you know, I think I've mentioned this before, um, your teachers have been working so, so hard um, to get the online learning up and running soon. Um, they've been doing so much planning, talking to each other, talking to you, um, talking to me. Um, it's been a lot of work. Um, I know they've been trying to keep in touch with you um, to get ready, so they've been calling or there's been emails or some of them have already got it, got Google Classroom started up and you've been checking that out a little bit, uh, maybe. So I know we all want to be back at school, and that includes teachers. It really does. I did see a few earlier in the week, and they miss school and miss you very much. Um, so we're all doing the best we can. I know you are. You know I am. They are. We're all doing the best we can to stay connected um, and to have some form of school you know, while it's closed and while we're online. So you know, I just wanted to take this opportunity to thank our teachers for all the hard work they've put in, um, for everything they've done, everything they're going to do um, starting next week with you. Um, it's a lot of work. Um, they really care. You know, it's not the best situation, but I think everybody's making the best of it. So great job. Um, I'm very proud of them. Proud of you too. Um, but you should be proud of your teachers too for everything they've done for you. So thank you. And like I said, as you know, Monday we officially start online classes. Um, you know, that's why, like I said, the teachers and I are meeting today. Um, is to kind of just talk about things that may come up, things they need, things you need, um, ways I can help them, what they need from me. Um, you know, one of the big important things that we're going to talk about is the work they're doing and how they can make sure you feel supported and not overwhelmed. So I really want you to understand that. We do not want anybody to feel overwhelmed or frustrated by the online learning. We want it to be exciting, fun, enjoyable. We want it to be helpful, but not to be overwhelming or stressful or taxing um, at all. So I want to take this opportunity to wish you good luck. You're going to do great. Um, I hope you have a first... Uh, Great day of school online on Monday. Good luck. Um, and just an announcement today, I just wanted to let everybody know, since we're starting online classes on Monday, and you're going to be having regular contact with your teachers every day, I'm looking to change up uh, how I do these video posts. I'm still going to do them, but here's what I was thinking. Um, I'm going to split up the posts into two parts. You know, like right now I'm doing announcements, I'm talking to you, you know, we have Joke Friday today, we have birthdays, all those things. We're going to make that one post. And then the readings, that'll be a separate post. Um, so the announcement stuff, what I'm going to do is have separate posts in my YouTube channel. You'll be able to go to the YouTube channel and check out the announcements. They'll be uh, titled by date. They'll say announcements and the date. And then um, when you get up in the morning, your teachers are going to remind you uh, before you get started on your work just to go to the YouTube link and check out the announcements. And you can just click on the announcements for me. I'll wish people a happy birthday. You know, I'll go over any... Uh, uh, questions I've received, any details. Um, there might be other announcements. Uh, well, I still have Joke Friday, um, but I won't do the readings in those posts. It'll just be the announcements. Maybe there'll be a thought for the day like I do at school on the announcements. So we'll do those. Maybe there'll be shout outs to kids and teachers, people who are working hard. So you'll go to those announcements in the YouTube channel, and I'll still do the readings, and those will be titled Readings and the Date, and those will be in the YouTube channel as well but I'll still post those on the Beekman Bears group of friends. So the readings will get posted on Facebook, the announcements, you'll have the links in your Google Classrooms, and you'll be able to every day in the morning get up, see me, hear the announcements, hear the birthdays, and we'll all stay connected that way. So I hope it works. If you have any suggestions or thoughts on it, please let me know. But I did want to uh, tell you about that change we're going to start next week. All right, we have a birthday to announce, so let's get to it. One birthday on this Friday, April 3rd. I wonder who it is. Happy birthday to Nicholas Vandermeulen. Happy birthday, Nicholas. Hope you're having a great day today and you got some fun stuff planned for your birthday. Um, you know, it's a little rainy outside today, this Friday, but you got the weekend coming up. So hope you enjoy your birthday. Have a nice cake. Maybe it's ice cream. 
Um, wonder what presents you're going to get. So happy birthday, Nicholas. Enjoy, and have a great weekend. All right, and it's Joke Friday. So here we go with some jokes. These are some animal-themed jokes for you today on this Friday. First one is, why do elephants have trunks? Because they would look silly with suitcases. <laughs> what do you get when you put a pig in a blender? Bacon bits. <laughs> turkeys travel across the ocean? In a gravy boat. <laughs> and last one. What's a cat's favorite dessert? Mice cream. <laughs> All right, hope you like those jokes on this Joke Friday. And remember, if you have any jokes you want to share with me, just send me an email or a Google Doc and let me know, and maybe your jokes will be included on the announcements. All right, it's Friday, and we have a challenge for you. This is your Friday challenge, principles challenge, should you choose to accept it. I think you're going to like it. It's to select a favorite song of yours and put together a lip sync performance. So you can dress up if you want, or you don't have to. You can have a backdrop if you want or not. You can have props if you want. You know, what are you going to use for your microphone? Are you going to have any instruments, fake instruments, real instruments? Um, are you going to include any willing pets in your lip sync or maybe some family members? Maybe the whole family will do. You'll have a, a band, a rock band um, lip sync performance. So you, sky's the limit, do whatever you want, but put together a lip sync performance if you want. I can't wait to see the videos on our Beekman Bears uh, group of friends. Post your video. Remember to give credit to the artist and the uh, song title so we all know uh, what it is you're lip syncing. Um, and enjoy. So I hope that's a good one. I actually got that idea from Mrs. Delari. So Mrs. Delari sent that to me a few weeks ago and I said, oh yeah, we got to use that. Families and students are going to love a lip sync contest. Um, and as a special Friday treat for you, before the first day of online school, I have put together my own lip sync video for you. So check it out. It'll be at the end of this video. Um, I will be performing Revolution by the Beatles and I hope you enjoy it. So that's my little uh, Friday treat for all of uh, our Beekman uh, bears out there. All right, that's it. That is all for now. Have a wonderful weekend. Good luck with the first day of online school. I'll be thinking of everyone. I'll be thinking of you all day on Monday. Hoping it's going well. I'll be sending you positive thoughts. Um, and remember, if your computer has a problem on Monday or some website isn't rolling up for you, you know, you're having issues, please don't worry. Don't cry. Don't get angry everything's going to be okay. We will be there for you. We understand that some of you out there are going to have problems with the computers or the internet, you know, may not be working or who knows. Um, we get it. We're going to work with you. We understand there's nothing to get upset about. Just let your teacher know and your teacher will help you um, and your teacher will understand. So it's a good time for us to practice mindfulness, right? All these mindfulness things we've learned in school, now you can practice them at home when something doesn't go right. And believe me, some stuff's not going to go right. This is not going to go perfectly the first time. So remember to breathe. Stay calm. It is what it is. We'll get through it. No need to get upset. Um, we'll have it work out. It'll work out with time. So that's it. Have a great weekend, everybody. And uh, don't forget, wait till the end of this video. See me performing Revolution by the Beatles. All right, take care. Bye, Beacon Bears. Because of some technical difficulties, the lip sync video will not be at the end of this video. Check out the next video for Mr. Lapis's lip sync.